This is how to obtain all of the legendary items in Octopath Traveler 2. You can talk to any of the 8 guild masters to obtain information on where the legendary item is for their class. Before we start the video, make sure to check out my second channel called Ochet. I'll be uploading short form content and 3DS content there later this year. I don't want to spam the main channel with a bunch of shorts so it would mean a lot to me if you guys went and checked that out as well. Head to the Decaying Temple East of Psy. Make your way up to the save point and then take a left. From there, go up the stairs and head to the third wall scroll. You can interact with the wall scroll to find a red chest in a secret room. There you will find the fire dragon slave. Next we have the forbidden blade. Head over to Montwise and go down this ladder. This will lead you into the forsaken graveyard. Progress through the dungeon until you come across a boss fight. Beat the boss and the Forbidden Blade will be in a red chest. The Double Tomahawk is the easiest legendary item to obtain. Take your ship and head to the bottom left corner of the sea. There you will find a chest containing the Double Tomahawk. The Moon Eater can be obtained in the village of Thorny's final chapter. Use your path actions to take the Moon Eater from him. For the Sun Shadow Staff, go to Gravel and head out of town to the left. Make sure it is nighttime and wait there for a few minutes. You should see this little creepy bastard walking outside. Baptize him with Temenos to find the Sun Shadow Staff. The Exorcising Bow can be found in Timber Rain. Head up a screen and then make your way to the left. You will come across a guard blocking an area off. Use any of your path actions to take the exercising bow away from him. The Vest of Joy is probably the legendary item that takes the longest time to obtain. Head to Conan Creek and make your way east to the next area. There you will find a little girl who is sick. She will send you on a three part quest for the Vest of Joy. After that, head over to Timberrain and guide Roland the Florist back to the little girl. After these three conditions have been met, she will give you the Vest of Joy. The last legendary item is the Stone of Truth. Head over to the Inferno Abyss and make your way to the end of the dungeon. I did make a separate video on how you can gain access to the secret dungeon. Make sure to check it out if you do want to obtain this legendary item. After a boss fight with the Dreadwolf, you will gain a key item that will help you unlock your third cleric's license and you will find the Stone of Truth in a red chest. Those are all of the legendary arms described to us by the guilds. If you guys did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and enjoy.